Welcome to Boots Buy. My name's William. Today I'm talking about my five favorite ways to style the Thursday Captain. Let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. As I said today, we're talking about five ways to style the Thursday Captain. Now, this is one of my favorite boots. I'll be showing you five of my favorite ways to style it, um, what I wear with these boots, including the brands uh, and the different combos, things like that. I'm gonna have links to all these brands down in the description below. So if you wanna check out, I'm gonna order it by outfit as well. So if you like anything you see, you should be able to find a link there really, really easily. I'm not just styling the normal Thursday Captains. This is in Arizona Adobe. I'll also be showing an outfit with the Thursday Captain Storm King outsole, and this is in tobacco. So if you want to check out either of these boots, I also have that link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into it. Outfit number one, all of this stuff is from a brand that I just discovered called The Strange London. So they do what's called the capsule wardrobe, and basically everything you get from them, you can mix and match. Uh, basically what you're seeing is a light blue Oxford with a blue overshirt and some gray chinos. Now, this to me shows off how well the captain can do in a business casual setting. So if you're going to the office, if you want something a little more upscale, you know, the Oxford is always gonna win chinos. It's just such a classic. Those are such versatile items, both for you know going to the office or just hanging out casually on a Saturday. But if you wanna dress up a little bit, the captain still works in that scenario because it is a slimmer, lower profile boot. Outfit number two, I'm gonna be using the Tobacco Storm King outsole, and I'm pairing this with a few items from Taylor Stitch. I'm wearing the shop shirt and the chore pants. Both of these are made with Boss Duck fabric. Now, besides just being a super funny sounding fabric name, Boss Duck is actually a great material. It's super thick canvas made out of 100% organic hemp, and I am loving the way that it feels. It's actually a little bit uncomfortable, which for some reason this might sound weird, but I kind of appreciate that because it's super durable and it feels like work clothes, but it fits has that more that slimmer, more modern fit. So Taylor Stitch, they're one of my favorite brands. They make both the shop shirt and the chore pants that I'm wearing. What I like about Taylor Stitch is that while they have that slim modern aesthetic, they don't skimp on quality in their clothes. They don't skimp on durability. So both of these pieces are going to last many, many years. Underneath the shop shirt, I'm also wearing the Taylor Stitch Fillmore crew neck. Uh, this is made out of French terry fabric, super comfortable, very warm. I love the look of the crew neck underneath the shop shirt. These are two heavier fabrics and it goes really well for those really cold fall afternoon evenings and into winter. I actually like it so much I just realized I'm, I'm wearing that combo right here right now. Um, so yeah, it's something I go to very often. Before we get into outfit number three, I wanna talk about today's video sponsor, Fox River Socks. Now, in all these shots, I am wearing Fox River Socks. Right now on my feet, I'm wearing Fox River Socks. One thing I love about Fox River, they are thick wool socks. They're super high quality. They have amazing uh, models like the boot and field right here, as you can see. They also have some different versions right here, tons of different colors. I have these in navy and red. These are just really cool socks. They are super thick, and I'm gonna try and show you exactly how thick and squishy that is, but they are so comfortable to wear, and they are made mainly with wool. And the greatest thing about wool socks you think maybe they're only a cold weather thing, but wool is very, very warm. We all know that, but it's also super breathable. I never break in a pair of boots without wearing a thick pair of wool socks, and Fox River is my go-to. It's not just my go-to for you know standard stylish boots like the Thursday Captain, but I also added Fox River to the top of my best work boot socks list for their work socks. And as you can see, these are amazing right here. These are their work socks. Uh, these are amazing for steel toe boots because there's so much padding in the toe. So if you wear a pair of steel toe boots or composite toe boots, and that yeah, you have big toe toenail starts getting sore after a while, definitely check out Fox River because the toes on these, they're fantastic and the heel, tons of padding in those. Again, they have tons of awesome boot ones, that uh, boot and field ones, kind of for style, kind of for comfort. Uh, that's the main ones I go for. But they also have great hiking and trekking socks as well. And I wear these sometimes in uh, warmer climates, you know, when it's like uh, early fall, late spring, it starts to get warmer. You don't want to have something that is super, super thick like a boot and field sock. You want something a little lighter. And then at that point, I'll go with their hiking and trek. So thank you to Fox River for supporting the channel, for sponsoring this video. I appreciate that. And 
I got a pair of Fox River socks on now and I can't wait to bust into these. Moving on to outfit number three, this is something I'll put together very, very often. It's a very simple outfit and I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar or do something very similar to this. On the bottom, I got a simple pair of Gap jeans. Gap is one of my favorite places to go for jeans because typically they have some stretch in them. They're very comfortable. And I like the amount of taper that goes be below the knee. And I think just having a lot of taper works super well, especially with the Thursday Captain. You don't wanna have anything straight below the knee because it can kind of swallow the boot up. The Thursday Captain, it is a very, very slim boot. It has a very low profile. So if you're wearing something uh, with a wide cuff at the bottom, you know, it's gonna kind of just like swallow up the boot. You need to have some taper so you can kind of fit the uh, silhouette, the style. It just makes it look a lot better. On top of the Gap jeans, I have the Outer Known Blanket shirt. This is one of my favorite. It's not really a, it's not really a flannel, but it kind of looks like a flannel. Basically, this is one of my favorite shirts. It's so soft, it's so comfortable. It fits well in the shoulders. It accentuates the shoulders, but it's very slim through the torso and the arms. So it basically looks super good. They have maybe 60 or 70 different colors, Outer Known. They have 60 or 70 different colors of the blanket shirt, so you're almost certain to find something that you like, I definitely recommend checking it out. Outfit number four, this one looks really, really cool with the Arizona Adobe Captains. Uh, this has a light denim shirt on top and then some olive chinos on the bottom. The chinos are from Taylor Stitch. I really like the way Taylor Stitch makes their, their pants, their chinos. They're a little bit long, so just note that. That's why you see me cuffing them twice. I'm actually six foot two and I still need to cuff these chinos twice. So if you are any shorter than six two, uh, then you'll probably need to get them hemmed and you probably need to take some length off of that or you can just like cuff it like me. Uh, so that's just something to note. But again, Taylor Stitch, they make really sturdy, solid clothes and I love the amount of taper below the knee. Of course, the light denim wash shirt on top. Love the faded look and I love how all these colors go together really nicely to create a nice light look. It's not so dark, it's not so heavy. Um, and this just does really well in spring and in early fall. And to close it out with one more cold weather look, I have a dark denim overshirt with a knitted sweater and a pair of skinny rag and bone jeans. Usually I don't wear skinny jeans, uh, but rag and bone, they just tend to, I got the slim fit, they just kind of tend to fit skinnier. But again, with the Thursday Captains, if you, the more taper you have, the better in my opinion. You do not wanna have a lot of extra fabric around the ankle, you want that to taper in. The key to this one is having the texture of the sweater underneath. You want a lot of texture in fall and winter that's gonna add a lot to the outfit. And of course, you have the very, very slim fit of the rag and bone jeans. Now rag and bone, they're not the most durable jeans. So if you, I recommend wearing these maybe once a week, something like that, uh, but they do look really cool. And I love the amount of taper there is below the knee so that you're getting that very slim look down by the ankle. You do not want the captain swimming in a lot of fabric down by the ankle. Of course, a dark denim overshirt is super cool item to have. So I definitely recommend having one of those in your wardrobe. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see a video of me reviewing the Thursday Captain after four years of wear, make sure you hit that video over there as it pops up. Make sure you hit subscribe because next video up, I'm going to be reviewing the Thursday Captain versus the Thursday Captain Storm King. So you saw both of those boots in this video. I'm gonna be doing a review next. So make sure you hit subscribe. And until next time, put your best boot forward.